In this video, we're going to show you how to rekey to the customer key a Chrysler ignition. Chrysler ignitions with the sidebars are probably our third most popular ignitions to replace. Number one would be the Honda sidebar ignition. Number two would be Ford Focus, again with the sidebar problem. And number three, we find the Chryslers. And this kit made by Stratic, it fits, you know, the Dodge Caravans, it fits a whole pile of uh, various years, makes and models. It's fantastic. It's the Stratic, it's the 703719 is the kit. It comes uncoated with all extra wafers, springs, everything you're gonna need to rekey the lock to the customer existing key. What we're looking at today is the Stratic 703719 uh, ignition. You'll find this fits an uh, unbelievable amount of Chrysler and Jeep products. Fit a lot of your caravans. Um, it'll fit just about anything. Uh, there's so many of them out there. This is a kit that we find fails, and it fails often uh, on Chrysler vehicles. Your problem is the sidebar. The sidebar seizes into the cylinder and whatever you do, you're not going to be able to turn it. Now this is a blank cylinder with no keys or anything, so it turns nice and easy. We'll show you an example of when we put a wafer in there, uh, how it won't turn. The kit, as with all Strata kits, comes with everything you need to put the cylinder together and it even comes with a couple spares. So you've got your wafers and there's only four depths on this lock. One, two, three, and four. And you've got plenty of springs and you've got your grease. We have a Chrysler 8 cut key. Uh, tip to bow, you're looking at depths three, three, four, two, two, one, Three, two. So, what we need to do is open up our packages and then we can pin our lock. And we'll get springs out. As always, Strata gives you some extra springs. You're going to lose some. Don't feel that. Everybody does. So, where we start with is you put a spring in here. We're going to put our first wafer in, which is a number three. Unlike the Fords we've done before, all eight wafers go into the Chrysler lock. You'll notice the wafers have a notch out of the side. The notch is so that when you put the key in, the wafers all line up with the notch and it allows the sidebar to drop. Okay, it's very important that you have the right wafers in. You can put these wafers in and when you put the key in, it'll clear the shear line on both sides, but if this sidebar doesn't drop, then you'll never turn your ignition. So let's just press down that. Okay, and what we're going to do, just so you can see this, is we're going to line up a different depth cut on this key with this number three wafer. So if you look right here, you can see the sidebar sticking up a bit. Whereas when you put the key into the three, the proper depth, the sidebar drops completely flat. That's what you're concerned with on this lock. That sidebar has to be flat or it won't turn in the cylinder. Okay, so if you're unsure and you, before you put this lock together, you can check the sidebars, you put the wafers in, you can also slip it in to the cylinder and turn it every one, every wafer that you put in so that you don't make any mistakes. So we know our first one is a three. We know our second one is also a three. So we pop in the wafer, the number three. Okay, we see our sidebar sticking up a bit. We stick our key in and it'll drop flat. Again, if you're unsure at all, 
put it in after every wafer and make sure it turns freely. Our next wafer that goes in is a number four. And again, you'll get a feel for this looking at the key. We see that the next wafer was a four. Now we know that these two are threes. So these two have to be twos. So let's grab a couple twos out of here and we can pin it. So our two goes in. Next two goes in. The next one we look at right here is a one. We look at our next one and again gauge with your key. That's a number three, that's a number four, that's a number two, a number one. So if we look here, we're going to look at a number three right in here because we can tell that that is the same as those. Okay, so we'll put in our spring, grab a number three, put the number three in, and on to our last one, which is just number two. When you get it pinned, you can see that the sidebar is in the outer position here. It's up. So this cylinder will not turn in there. When you put the key in, all right, and you slide it in all the way, you can see how that sidebar drops. So if the sidebar is up, the sidebar is down. You'll find when you put the, it into your cylinder, your cylinder turns well. Pull your key out, your cylinder doesn't turn anymore. Put your key in, your cylinder turns nice and easy. Last part to putting the cylinder together is two springs and two pins. So one spring, second spring, then your pins go in. And your cylinder well, I'll go in and when you turn it, it locks into position. The cylinder will no longer come out. So, cylinder is not turning unless you put the key in and the key will turn the cylinder. And you can check all the positions. You see the detents in here so that that's your off position, that's your accessory position, that's your run position. So, to put the cylinder into the vehicle, you want the vehicle in the accessory position. When you put it into the accessory position, this pin will drop and the cylinder slides into the vehicle. When you're sliding the cylinder into the vehicle, make sure that you have a look and make sure that your ignition on the column side is turned to the same position as this so that you don't damage anything when you put it in. You'll find that this is tapered so that when you're sliding it in, it will push in through the, col through the column. So you just slide it in, it'll lock into place, you can turn your key and take it out, put the key back in, and you can test and make sure the cylinder works through all the positions. In conclusion, you just saw how Randy showed you step by step how to rekey the Chrysler ignition to the customer key. It's very easy, the Stratic kit is fantastic, it has all the parts you need, even a few extra parts. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.